All right, guys. Where we going? Disney World. Disney World. Where you going, man? Disney. You sure? Where you going? Yes, I'm yeah, sure. yeah, I'm going to Disney. Y'all might be going to El Segundo for all you know. Hi. Where you going to? Yeah, here in beautiful downtown Oklahoma City. It's where the Thunder play, Paycom Arena, the Devon Tower, the OK Building. And it does. It's probably coming in. Oklahoma City is a pretty cool city if you just want to come visit for a few days. Um, you have a small amusement park in Frontier City, a small water park in. We used to call it white water, I think it's called something else now. But the convention center in the city, got a lot to do here. Today we're going to kind of walk around Sizzletail Park. Kids are going to skate around. <laughs> but we're actually going to talk about, even though we're in Oklahoma City, we're going to talk about Disney. And what is uh, going on with Disney? What the perception of Disney? So we'll talk as we go. Okay, as we walk into view, this is a town. Uh, it's a uh, It's a beautiful park. That's our new convention center over there. Uh, we have another one that's on the other side of the uh, Fayca Marina. It is kind of a hot day. Ooh, let's go. But yeah, as I said before, I want to talk about Disney. Um, you know, since the pandemic, Disney's kind of taking some hits with some of the things that they're doing, especially, you know, with the Lightning Plus and taking away the Fast Passes and taking away uh, things like uh, Magic Bands for resort guests. And People are less than thrilled about the rides that have come out. And so, just kind of think that it's um, for Disney, it's kind of unfair because um, you know Universal's come out and they've been a hit with a lot of things they've done. Actually, when it first came out of the out of the pandemic, I think Disney kind of follows suit with what they're doing. But one thing you just have to remember about Disney is this is kind of held to a different uh, standard than everybody else. And if they do stuff like everybody else is doing, people think that it's not as good just because is it didn't do it first, they didn't do it better. When it's all said and done, it really doesn't just do all you can do. And this is kind of unprecedented times. Let's go over this way, Mr. Over there, better. Unprecedented times. Yeah. Everybody's kind of doing what they can do. Now, these are some things I said that they are doing that they don't need to do, like a lot of the money grabbing that they're doing. Um, you know, Disney's third quarter earnings just came out for 2022 and they surpassed the pre-pandemic. So I'm down to the levels of 2019. And just let you know that basically they are getting more out of people. I don't know where dad is. You can have a lot of this. Yeah, that's Ooh, a this good thing. A right here thing. is the spot, you guys. Over here is. Stock holder is a good thing. Ooh, yeah, over here. If you are, uh, no, that's oh, a, a bad thing. Good. 
Come on. Can't learn it and get comfortable with it if you don't do it. So one of the biggest things of talking about Disney though is that again, Disney's expecting more out of them. Um, you know, it's it's the best. Um, they need to have the best customer service, the best customer experience. Um, everything about Disney has to be the best. They can't afford to mess up. And I think there are some things that Disney's probably not doing uh, that's kind of messing up on. Like I said, especially trying to get as much money out of people as possible while holding the crowd levels down. The only way you can get you know, record earnings from less people is that you get more, those less people spend more money. So that is, to me, not a good thing when you're talking about families. You're talking about families that are bringing a lot of people. It's hard for middle class families to make it now, especially with inflation. So I would like to think that Disney at one point is going to change, would love to see them change their mind about it, that it's not about the money, but it should be more about the experience. And that's why I think Walt Disney was more into. So, you know, we just I just hope that somewhere the mindset of change. Yeah, Universal's still doing good with the free, uh, made a lot more freebies. And Disney will. But, you know, you have to pay for Express Pass with Universal, which can make a ticket a lot more expensive. <laughs> I don't know what she was doing Mom, behind look, me, but I guess we'll learn later. Mom, look. I think it was but, um, like two trees that were closed, so I think they had to come. Okay. Get my camera switched around. But I just think that, you know, people are kind of harping on Disney because of some of the things they're doing. And, you know, I think the rides have been fine. You know, I hear people talking about, you know, the low expectations for the rides. And I do agree that the rides of the existence should be more reliable. I know it's on kind of like three different ride systems. One of them messes up. The whole thing has to go down. But, you know, I would like to know reliable. I'd love to see Fantasyland become much more of like Disneyland with more dark rides uh, based off the original uh, Disney IPO. It's like, you know, another Snow White. I don't know we have the, uh, we have the um, Mine Train ride. But I'd love to see the Scary Adventures back. I'd love to see a uh, um, Pinocchio ride. Um, I would love to see uh, some other stuff that just has to do more with with Disney, with the magic of Disney. One, uh, another Princess and a Frog, but I know they have one coming in to replace the Splash Mountain, so I guess we'll leave that one there, but um, it's frozen. There's uh, Inside Out. And there's other things that Disney could do to make the magic fantasy land a little more fantasy. Um, but does it cost money? They will have to do what they can do on that, but I think it would definitely make the Magic Kingdom a lot more magical. Especially fantasy land. Uh, they have summer concerts there at night, yeah, on weekend nights. So that's a pretty cool spot. You can sit out here and listen to the concerts. Uh, Omni Hotel. It's cool. Again, um, it's a nice spot in Oklahoma City. Definitely come to Tail Park. Just Dad, can I hold one you Just one part to it. Um, But one of the cool things to remember about Disney is the um, It is what it is. You don't spend money. It ain't cheap. Um, some ways I can save money. Don't stay on Disney property. Um, bring food rather than buy food there. But just, you know, I don't think that Disney is the, is the bad place people are trying to make it become. It's, uh, there are some things you could do, they could do better, but it's not like it's lagging because whatever you think you can say that Disney's not doing, you can say SeaWorld's not doing, you can say the Universal's not doing. So, you know, you go, just go and enjoy yourself. Don't you know, the people are going to tell you Disney's not doing this, Disney's not doing that. Everybody's experience is different. Uh, what everybody wants to have the experience is different. So, just go, 
enjoy yourself, don't try to you know, listen to everybody else and compare and stuff because that's not right. So I will say that um, there's some things to do. Um, learn about Disney, especially the Lightning Lane and G G Genie Plus, all that stuff. Learn about it. Learn about the Disney food plans and I can help you with all that. Um, again, with car mode vacations. Um, you can email me at carmode at yahoo.com. Oh, you're fine. All right, back in beautiful downtown from the city. Uh, with the Myriad Gardens now. Pretty cool little spot. Yeah. Oklahoma City. You want to come chill for a little bit. Downtown's a good place to go. Uh, this is the Sea Hotel. This is the Myriad Gardens, which is right across the street from each other. But, how's it just a nice place to go? But again, um, let me switch cameras around. Again, we're talking about Disney. Um, I'll definitely say when you go, it's not what they expect. It's not what the rest pre pandemic. It is still Disney. We still have a good time, still a magical experience. You just know that there's some things that are different, especially you know, before the pandemic. And, um, but there's a lot of things about it, you know, Disney is losing it or whatever. There's some things that maybe Disney could do better. But as for it being Disney, it's still Disney. So, yeah, just go have fun, enjoy yourself, and know you're going to pay some money. The good thing to do is just to know before you go. Right, know before you go, be less surprises. So I'm really going to wrap this video up. There really wasn't um, too much I wanted to say. just wanted to say, you know, I just turned a lot of different things about Disney. I don't think it's fair, so I just wanted to kind of address that. Um, Disney's still Disney. It's been a good time. Good things that could have been better. Yeah, some things I wish were different. Yeah. But some things I wish were different about Universal, about SeaWorld, so I can say it's what it is. Now, when you go, just have fun. Again, I want to thank. Um, our partners with Carmel Vacations, who does all our uh, reservations uh, for flights, cars, hotels, tickets. Uh, you need it, they can do it. It's carmelvacations.com. Um, well, if you want, you can go to uh, melvincar.intellitravel.com. That's N E L V I N C A R R. Intellitravel.com. Uh, they can also take care of all your needs. It's actually the same people. And you know, like our channel, hit the like button. Uh, also hit the bell notification for when new videos come out. And um, hit the subscribe button. So, because that really helped us out too. Uh, you guys have a great day. God bless you all. Love you guys. Bye.